Hey, y'all, let's put on some socks and let's go somewhere. I did a year without a summer brighten up with a spring of hope let's go back to the year of 1815 an island off the indonesian area there was a massive volcano explosion by far the worst in recorded history mount tambora it was so loud that nearly a thousand miles away some British soldiers heard it and actually sent some people over there because they thought there were cannons shooting and they were checking out the area. The aftermath was so terrible. Ashes went everywhere. It affected the whole world. And for that reason, the year of 1816, they call it a year without a summer due to the volcano explosion and how it affected the climate change during that year. Well, let's go to Northern United States, New England area to the state of Vermont. You have a family, Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mac Smith. Due to this year without a summer, um, they lose crop. Joseph Smith Sr. was a farmer. That's what he did, that's what he was good at. And he was out of work. So he goes looks for other work, other areas to plant crops so he leaves the family and finds some cheap land in western new york um, called a little city farm town called palmyre new york here we are we got the smith family in palmyre new york starting over joe smith singer at 45 years old uh, a farmer learning the new area of palmyre new york and the family was very poor they were renters they were new to the town, didn't know anybody too much. And um, they would tap into the maple trees. Uh, even Lucy Mack herself, the mother, she would paint tablecloths and make root beer just to make ends meet. They were financially struggling, especially from the past, from the crop failure in Vermont. During this time, Joe Smith calls it an unusual excitement, an unusual excitement of religion. We call this time period the Second Great Awakening. This is a new start in the Western New York. A lot of people are migrating over there. Land is cheaper. People are starting to farm over there. Uh, Erie Canal is being built. Uh, religious freedom is exploding. Um, these Methodist preachers would hit these populated areas, and it was happening daily, weekly, all the time. And you got young Joseph Smith, curious. He was wondering. He would hear a lot of these sermons. And according to Oliver Cowdery and William Smith, there's a good chance that Joseph Smith heard that famous scripture we've heard of, James 1.5, be if you lack of wisdom, ask of God. And there's a good chance that he heard it from a reverend, Reverend George Lane. So here we are in the year of 1820. A beautiful spring morning. Joseph Smith leaves his house, goes out behind his house area, and um, goes through the farm, goes out to the woods, and goes where he left his axe in a stump where he knows he would be quiet, and he applies the scripture to himself, James 1.5. He kneels down, and he asks God. Young Joseph, an imperfect farm boy, was concerned about his soul, was concerned which church to join, and his day got brighter. He saw Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. The Heavenly Father pointed to his son, Jesus Christ, and said, this is my beloved son, hear him. This is what we call the first vision. Young Joseph, not sure but I would just imagine he probably didn't want to leave his comfort zone in Vermont, his little hometown. But due to the year without a summer, he 
and his family had to move to Western New York to find work. And the unusual excitement, the religious excitement that he heard and that he was in part of, he had really no choice not to hear it because it was everywhere because of how many people were migrating to the area, got young Joseph, an imperfect farm boy, curious about his soul and what church to join. So in the year of 1816, we have a year without a summer that was brightened up in the year of 1820 with a spring of hope. The first vision teaches us that God still speaks to his children. How often have we had a year without a summer in our lives? Metaphorically talking, a volcano erupting somewhere else in the aftermath affecting our lives. How often have we searched for happiness, um, moved from our comfort zone to go somewhere else to an unusual place? How often has that happened to us? We too can ask of God. We too can find our sacred grove. We too can find that spring of hope. <music>